Hi everyone, it's Charm again from Ready to Adult Philippines, a channel about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. If you've been in this channel for a while now, you'd know that I posted a condo tour around 6 months ago. We have since given up that condo because we bought our own, but since it's not RFO or ready for occupancy yet, we have decided to go back to our houses. So since I'll be here for maybe another 2 more years, which is when the turnover will be, I decided to renovate my brother's old room, especially because of the work from home setup. Now this is my first time ever to have a bedroom. I'm 27 years old and if you're the youngest in the family, you might relate, comment down below. But yeah, I'll explain all of that in another video and the process and everything I spent. But this video is just really a light video and I want to show you around the room. So this is just a quick room and home office tour showing you the different areas of the room and how I utilized it and maybe mention some of the items and where I bought them. Spoiler alert, majority of them were either gifted or DIY'd or recycled and upcycled from things around the house. So without further ado, let's start the room tour. Okay, so let's start with this area here and this is the door out of my bedroom. It's the only door because I don't have my own bathroom. I have three hooks here that I got from Shopee but I kind of spray painted them a little bit. This is where I put my robe and my pajamas, my towel but I need to get a new one. And also like some bags here. So this doesn't always look organized but I don't mind it because most of the time I open my door throughout the day so it looks like that and then over here is a table that was already in this room but I had it painted white along with the wall and I noticed that the paint was chipping and it gets dirty a lot so I bought this thicker contact paper that looks like white wood from Shopee as well and I DIY'd it. This is an entryway desk and a secondary desk because I have my main desk over there which I'll show you in a little bit but this is where I put like PR packages or stuff that I want to deal with later on like this. So over here we have some boxes that I got from things that I bought like this is from my camera right there and then these are just some random office stuff and then this is where I bought either PR packages or I'm actually gonna give these away to you guys so I'm just waiting for the other stuff to arrive so I just have my laundry basket and trash can here they're not very pretty so whatever <laughs> and then this is the chair that I was talking about in my worst purchases the most uncomfortable chair but I use it for filming so it does have some use. I have this random pillow that I found at my house and I couldn't decide on the color gold or like a copper gold so it's just like that. And this is the desk that Jet works in if he comes over. I just have some random recycled bases and jars so this was a gift from Zen Candle PH. And this, I won this from Sunday Studios. I joined their Instagram contest. This is a recycled wine bottle and bouquet of dried flowers gifted to me. And a beer bottle, if I remember correctly. And this shelf, wooden and gold shelf, was bought from Shopee with, again, Himalayan salt from Zen Candles PH. Some random trinkets I found around the house. and. These dried flowers were actually like decorations and gifts that I got from Christmas. So I recycled them and put them there. I put my bag here. It's usually in a dust bag, but I just used it. So this is the first thing that greets you when you come into my room. All right, so over here, this is actually the fan that we had in the condo. So I just used it here. I would have done the DIY where you either spray paint it or put sticker on it, but I couldn't get the blade off and I've tried. So we have here my cabinets and if you notice there's green borders all around because I didn't want to have a small accent wall so I brought it over there all the way to here and I got these gold handles to complement the rest of the gold metals around the room. So I mainly use this for hanging stuff, bed sheets, and some shoe boxes 
and then this as you can see are still very empty I don't have much stuff so I don't know what to put them I don't even use all the drawers just yet and then here is my last cabinet and this is just again some house clothes from some gym clothes and this is also unused yet so yeah these two are my brother's storage cabinets so I don't use them and it's perfect because I have my dog bed here and this dog bed is made from rattan if you notice I also have some native stuff around the room and I feel like it blends well with the gold even if it's opposite and I have this native buri rug over here so even if I have this huge nice dog bed the dog still prefers to sleep on the bed I think she thinks she's human so I mean <laughs> she's very chill she's just like oh mom's filming again okay so we have this aircon here which is not ideal that it's right beside the bed it doesn't get much airflow but it's useful when I do office work so it's an old aircon like I said I'm only gonna be here for a few years so I was not about to buy a whole new aircon and underneath here is my side table um, it's my first time also having a side table so the rest of the drawers are quite empty but these are just some linen spray this is Himbing sleep enhancing pillow mist and room spray these are Ella essentials oils lavender and fresh bamboo and I always have a balm like a uh, haplas <laughs> and this is an Ella essentials diffuser this is a book that I actually really like, The Lion Awakes, and my night guard because I grind my teeth when I'm stressed, and my charger that my boyfriend also bought me because I don't want to spend. So yeah, basically these are just empty, kind of empty drawers with random stuff on it. So yeah. So if you notice, my curtains are a little bit rustic my mom actually hand sewed them because again i don't wanna spend a lot for curtains and every wall in this room actually has windows on it so nagkulang ng tela so this is an extension and then over here is my bed if you notice my bed is quite grand i think and it's also dark wood so that's actually the reason why i chose a dark green color or a dark color for my accent wall because i want this bed to kind of disappear a little bit before it was all you see with the light wall and then the light curtains it stood out too much so with this i feel like now it kind of blends in nicely and it's easier to the eyes so this is my grandmother's bed and it has a matching side tables and these pillows were actually a gift and also the bed sheet by my boyfriend who's filming right now they're amazing they're from uniqlo the airism sheets and the comforter and then the other pillowcases were a gift from my friends for my birthday as well and this is my childhood pillow it's a mickey mouse hot dog pillow and it's so cool because it's mickey and my dog's name is minnie so i have them she been like that the whole time but yeah i feel like it was meant to be but yeah next is i just have a bed desk over here i've mentioned this a couple of times if i want to work on the bed for a change of scenery or if i want to watch a movie and i don't want to use the tv so yeah over at this other side table is usually where i try to read since i do sleep here alone i usually use that side of the bed and this is where i try to read because i have this lamp here this was also reused it's a very old lamp and we just put a bulb on it and wiring and it plugs to an outlet so again another native element so I just have a candle here from Bliss and Light and this is just a box that I got from my friend's wedding and I just put some accessories inside and we have a random matchbox with stickers on it and a nicer matchbox from Shopee 
and these are from ikea my friend got me and this is where i bought alcohol and lotion these were also really old bottles that i haven't used but i finally have a use for them and again all three drawers are empty i really don't know what you guys put in your side tables or drawers because i have no idea what to put there but it's storage that's there if i need it so over here as you notice these blinds aren't necessarily the prettiest they're actually really old as well and i spray painted them i'm sure you can kind of tell but if i do this you would see the old color but again i wasn't about to spend on new blinds and we lost the curtain rod we don't know where it is so i'm just gonna live with this it doesn't really bother me but let me know if it bothers you so let's start here and I have our office printer here. So this is a three-tier rack that I now use for our bond papers and scratch papers. And I painted it white. It used to be this hideous purple and now it's white and gold. And over here is my desk setup. So my desk setup is very new to me as well. This is also my very first time having a desk. Believe it or not, I don't have a desk in my offices because I moved from one office to another. So I just use the communal table. So this is my main work area. And my friend suggested to me to buy this mouse pad and it's a dark green so it matches the rest of the room. And I just have my phone holder, my iPad where I mainly work at, an extended Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse of course. And then my planner, my notepad, my water bottle, and my pen holder. So this is a very old chair as well. It's a managerial chair from the 90s probably. It was my dad's. And this is just a pillow that I like to use while working. So this desk is actually borrowed from my office because I didn't want to buy one. And nobody's in the office anyway. I put my laptop here and some random receipts I have to deal with. And then this is where I put my wires. So these are what I use for my videos. And then over here is where I put my planners, my notebooks, receipts and checks, etc. And lastly, we have wires and random stuff I need for my planner and also snacks underneath. So if I get hungry, I have snacks. So over here, we have again the same three hooks as the one behind the door. And this is where I put my tripods. So this is a ring light, a tripod, and the other tripod is being used right now. And then I bought this gold frame and I turned it into an evergreen calendar. So it's glass. So I just use a whiteboard marker and put the dates in and whatever appointments I have and then here I have a clock it's the same clock we had in the condo and I just spray painted it gold so if you guys notice I spray painted a lot of things in this room I kind of got crazy with spray paint so next is we have these floating shelves they were not supposed to be floating shelves but I DIY them to be that way because I don't want those things sticking out here so I had some help but I was pretty proud of the innovation that we did for this but yeah this is where I put some filming equipment and then my old camera this is my parents Minolta camera and then artworks that were given to me all throughout the years another bliss and light candle another recycled amber glass bottle and then a picture of Jet and myself and then over here is another shelf. I put some boxes of my iPad and iPhone there. A random treasure box. I'm sure it was a giveaway. I tried to do the baking powder paint on this. I don't know if it was successful. Another artwork that was given to me by Jean CU. And yeah, a light bulb plastic bottle and the paint of my room. So it has some tying element. And then this is the same mirror that we had in the condo. If you notice, it was kind of a bluish silver. Again, I spray painted it gold just because I wanted every metal to be gold here. 
and this is a basket that was gifted to me when I had a speaking engagement and I just have a throw blanket here and my yoga mat and yeah that's it and then this if you notice it is the same kitchen counter that we used in the condo. I use it as a table console now. I have some random books that I have either read or have to read here. I have this vase that's from H&M. It was a gift. It just houses some cork and wine bottle caps that Jet and I drank. And this is from my parents. It just has says coins and these crunchies that were also gifts. And then this is my TV. I also posted this on my stories that I don't have a smart TV. It's the regular LED TV. And I didn't want to spend for a smart TV. So my brother got me this, which is an Android box. It can make your TV smarter so I can do YouTube and Netflix here now. And yeah, this is where my makeup is because I do my makeup in this mirror and I have random bags here and random filming equipment and boxes also here. And lastly, we have this shoe box rack over here. It's a rack of four shoe boxes from Cebu Shoe Box. I'll link them down below. So since this is right by the door, this is where I put my essentials. Right before I go out, I wear my watch and my accessories. I get my alcohol, which was also gifted to me. It has my name on it. And also, this is where I put my skincare, my mask, the remotes for the TVs. I put this marble contact paper just to give it more personality and this resin comb was also a gift and it fits perfectly there. So yeah, if you notice again, a lot of my things were gifts. It was quite fortunate that I was renovating my room during Christmas and also my birthday. So that's a tip for you guys if you guys are renovating your rooms as well. And yeah, we're back where we started. So that is my room tour. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you like what I did with my room. And before next week's video, I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of what the room used to look like before it became like this. And again, I tried to be very minimal with my spendings. I didn't do a major renovation. So yeah, I hope that you like this video and again, I know that adulting is already hard so we all need a safe haven for us to come home to and for me that's this room. This has been Charm from Ready to Adult Philippines and I will see you on my next video. Vases and jars. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah.